Okay, so I've left it about an hour, and as you can see, it is turned black, which is a good sign, which means it's reacted to the rust quite nicely. So that is really good. Um, obviously, with these little bits I've missed, I'm going to go over them. I've just made a point of missing them. I've made this sort of my test patch. Uh, I think, if anything, next, I might be focusing on this little area here while brushing this down and seeing what we can get done with this and like that horrible bit there. Right then, guys, so I have obviously been working on this arch here. Um, as you can see, some bits have gone back down to metal, some haven't. There's bits like this here, um, yeah, and there's still that bit there that needs working out a bit. This it needs a lot of love, basically everywhere. Like I said, really, the whole arch just needs cutting out. And it needs a new panel welding in, but for the time being, of a Ford Fair, it's just getting filled and painted. And I'll come back to it when I can get an arch and. I'm going to be also hopefully learning how to weld, so that'll be something to look forward to on the channel. But yeah, I'm just going to, for this section, I'm going to treat it, see how that goes, and then I might try and attack this. The thing that's sort of putting me off this is I don't know how thick this metal is that they put on there. Yeah, because it's, as you can see, the previous owner has done a bit of a shoddy job of it. And if I don't want to start cutting into it, and it's be like really thin metal and then cutting through it and making more holes so i'm gonna have to see how i go with it that is the treatment applied to the area you can see it turning blue where it's reacting to the rust and i'm gonna leave it for about an hour and see what happens when i come back or i might even leave it longer than an hour but yeah i've taken precautions i've covered everything that i don't really want to get um covered in this stuff because it is quite corrosive so obviously the paint on my side skirt because there's nothing wrong with the side skirts and they're plastic so there's no wrong the wheels i don't want any getting on the alloy and the rear bumper because as you know i sprayed that myself and i don't really want that getting ruined and you can see i've i've caught a bit of it there obviously bits here so yeah we just don't want that getting on areas where it don't need to get on so it's been left for a few hours and as you can see a lot of it has turned black I even put a bit down there and that seems to have turned as well so that's not too bad like I said that there is a panel that somebody's messed about with um, so that will that's gonna need sorting out anyway but yeah for the most part it seems like it's worked pretty well I don't know this here I think that could be filler of some sort. I, I don't know. Because obviously it's... I don't think it's metal. But yeah. All in all, not a bad result. We've used a bit of P38 filler. With the golf ball to a P mixture that you've got to use. And we've started filling a few bits in. I probably will need to fill a bit more in. But this is my first time using this stuff. So I just sort of want to get a feel for it. And try this, sand it down, see how we go with that. This has now been sanded smooth and for the most part, barring the scabbing rust bits, it is flush with the body. Now remember this ain't a proper job. If you are wanting to do a proper job, then don't resort to doing this. You know, re realistically you want to cut the whole panel out, like cut this whole section out here and weld in a new piece. That's the eventual plan of what I want to do, but for the time being, it's just for Ford Fear, it's a, it's a quick, cheap and easy fix. But yeah, most people won't weld a panel in to a car like this because it's only about £300. Well, it's a £300 car, so people aren't going to want to invest that much money into it. Um, but yeah, so I've just filled this for the time being. I'm going to do exactly the same with the other arch. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, so I have got the paint through for the arch. And as you can see, 
I've gone for a different brand. I've gone for a high coat. I got these on eBay for like you know, 20 odd quid. They're only small cans, but obviously I only need to cover a small area. But we've got the um, got the primer, the Panther Black pearlescent paint, and the clear coat to finish it off. So I think I'm just going to clean down the surface of the arch, wipe it down, try and make it a dust free zone, and then we're going to get some primer on. Right, so all the surrounding area has been prepped up. Um, in this instance, I've just used bin liners because they do just as good a job, really. Bin liners and masking tape. I've made sure to cover all areas. Just tiny bits like the bumper there just needs covering up. But for the most part, it's all covered. Um, and hopefully we shouldn't get any overspray on any of the decent paint or the windows. So, yeah, find a bit more prep to do and then it's time to prime. Okay, so the two areas, the arch and the boot, all in all, they've had two coats of primer, five coats of paint, and two heavy coats of lacquer. They've currently been sat a few hours, um, drying out. Obviously, I'm gonna leave it 24 hours to properly harden. As you can see by the reflection of this, I am really happy with the result. And yeah, proper happy. The only issue we do have, is you may notice, this little section here, I don't know how well you're gonna see it on film. Uh, I pulled the tape back a slight bit. Where is it? The fact that I'm struggling to find this is quite good. Oh, there it is. So you can see here that there is a bit of a lip and I'm gonna try and sort that out. I think if I get on it with some like 1200 grit sandpaper, and then maybe put some additional clear coat to uh, like blend it in a bit, we should be all right. So we sh hopefully we should get away with that with a bit of, bit of TLC. But as you can see, we've got these areas here, which are, they are still a bit lumpy, but compared to the hole I had here, the rust hole, like the big mega rust hole, I think it looks a considerable about, amount better than what it did. The same under here it's a bit rough under here still but it's um yeah i think it's a massive improvement i'm gonna now leave this for a couple of days to properly set then i'm gonna remove all the uh covering and see what it looks like okay so now is the time to take all of this off Let's see what it looks like <laughs> So there it is, and this is what I mean by I've got to do a bit of blending. As you can see, it's got the pearls in the paint quite nicely, but there is quite an apparent change in the paintwork where you can see this big step where it goes back to the standard body. But I think with some 1500 grit and clear coat, we can maybe like blend this in a bit better. So. 
Yeah, all in all, compared to what it used to look like, considerable amount better. You've just got to blend the paint in. Make the new paint match up with the old paint. So that is it for this part. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and maybe even hit that bell icon for notifications on future uploads. But until the next time, guys. Peace.